Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Tunic. Last time we left off, we explored a lot of this map. We, we covered an absolute ton of stuff, and we started to make our way towards the well, which I kind of prioritized getting to, because we do have an actual map of the well. So this may be our first dungeon here. So, yep, let's go ahead and hit this up, why don't we? Let's get in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Down we go. Boom, 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 boom. All right, well, beneath the well. God, I hope you're less horrifying and nightmare-inducing than the bottom of the well in Ocarina of Time. Um, I never really made it there as young me, and boy am I glad I didn't, because it would have been uh, absolute pain. What are those I just... Oh, it's probably MP, right. So, uh, I did mention someone in the... Um, comments mentioned I should take a look through uh, some of these again and I agree with that because there's probably a ton of stuff that I can miss um, that I didn't notice the first time but now that I have more context in a far off land a great treasure was sealed away forever some say it is the power to defy death cool ringing the east bell so we need to go to east forest the hero's grave and beat a guards captain to ring the east bell which we did ringing the west bell we need to go to the Old House, Flooded Well, Dark Tomb, and West Garden. So we need to do all of that before we can ring the West Bell. Okay, so yeah, I have to do this dungeon anyway before we can even ring the West Bell. Cool. So, game screen. Yeah, nothing really new here. It does list magic points right there. Everything hurts more when I'm tired. Focus preview. Uh, nothing really new here. I do notice that it shows a lantern right here. Which, yeah, it means that I need the lantern for that. What is this over here? Question mark, page 28. I don't know that I have page 28. It also says page 14 there. 13. Yeah, is this 14? This is 14. Okay, so what does that mean? LT, oh, okay, it's just explaining, yeah, targeting. Focus and evade, focus and block. Uh, you can always attack even without stamina. Stamina points, zero SP, moment of safety, stability. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah, normal stuff. Hot pepper, ivy, golden coins. Yeah, see, the golden coins specifically looks at that thing. Weird. I don't remember, did I? I did upgrade my potion last time, yes. I'm remembering now. I still don't know what those things do. You can do it, Garden Knight. Try to be this strong. Health points. The map again. Bottom of the well. This I should check out some more. So I'm right here. Yeah, not the biggest dungeon in the world. We're going to be running into auto bolts here, and we already ran into slorms. It can be stunned by blocking. I just kind of ran up to it and hit it, so... That's a dungeon we haven't been into yet, and that's talking about the Ruined Atoll. Okay, just wanted to re-look at that to see if there was anything that I may have missed. No, you don't. Because, yeah, that particular detail about these guys was uh, pretty useful. Whoop. And boom. There we are. Oh. oh, hey, more of that. Cool, I'll take that. That's my healing power. What is this? Nothing? And there's nothing over here. Anything behind the- yes, there is. Of course there is! Oh, beautiful. There was something behind the waterfall. Awesome. Thank you. Good game design right there. Alright. Uh, don't think there's anything else up there. That was a pretty well hidden one, actually. Because it- there's no real way to even- that you would even assume that there is something behind that waterfall, because usually in a place like this, when there's water coming down there, that's- that, that's just a wall. You know, I think of, like, like, sewers and aqueducts and stuff. It's usually just a wall, but that one was not. I don't want to walk in the goop, though. The goop's nasty. Ew, it got in my fur. Alright, let's just level up. So, potion? I need 300. Sounds good to me. We may actually get to fight a boss this time. I'm down. Kablushi. Potion level three! There we are. Cool. So, how do I get to you, treasure chest? 
Oh, I see. Okay, I gotta run across like the ceiling from another room. Ooh, a new uh, piece of you. Oh boy. Oh boy. What is this? Husher, a friendly bird that loves to eat slorms. Is that that bird I murdered last time? Crabbo, Crabbit. Crabbo has a hard shell, but Crabbit has pals. An envoy, more questions than answers. Yeah, that's the shield guys that kicked my ass. Frog's domain, and all of these things link to a spot in the middle. Okay, so this game's way bigger than I thought. I thought that other area, the last map we got, was going to basically be it. Okay, the frog's domain. This reminds me of the frog area in, um... Uh, the, the death game where you played as a crow? I forget what it was called now. Still in training, they take turns attacking. Grown-ups have hooks on their tongues. Well-equipped, always tries to attack three times. A baby slorm who cannot spin yet, but is still useful. And apparently the magic orb is there? Okay. Neato. Well then, let's continue on our merry way. Hey you. Gonna need you to uh, die for me, thank you. Uh, whoops. I didn't mean, I was trying to target you, but I was still targeting the slorm because it was still technically alive. I'm running over here because I'm like, is there something down here? Doesn't seem like it actually. I thought there would be a reason, but uh, no, apparently not. I do see that path down there though, which may lead to uh, uh, that area where I can walk up on this, on like the side of the ceiling to get uh, something. Oh, is it walk behind this waterfall? Is that what it is, you cheeky, cheeky game? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So cheeky. So incredibly cheeky. I did get all the stuff right. I'm, I'm assuming it flew into me, but I, I can't see, so. Uh, get in there, please. Thank you. All right. Well, I'm uh, pretty good on secrets now. Cue people pointing out that I've uh, probably missed like 10 secrets already in the nine minutes of this video. Oh, please hiccup. Now is not the time. Okay. Uh, no. How about that? And now I'm going to get away from you before you explode. Thank you. So you guys do drop magic. I should use my magic uh, more often. I'm just going to wail on you. Aha! Oh god. I forgot I do got to roll away. Haha, I caught you off guard, nerd. Can't get in there. No, nope, nothing really interesting happening there. Uh huh. I can go ahead and throw this down, though. There we are. Cool, cool. So let's refer to that. Here it is. So, yeah, I'm over here now. Let's see, I want to explore more of this room, especially since we have a shortcut open now, because... I don't know, I, I couldn't get over here, right? Excuse me, what were those things just ominously in the water that just saw me? Excuse me? I don't like that. I don't like you putting the idea in my head of there being things in the water. I hate it, in fact. This area over here, I'm suspicious of. Like... I'm suspicious. I don't know, man. It just looked like something where, where they'd hide something, you know? Let's just get up here and go across my handy-dandy bridge that I made. I do want to try and make it through this whole dungeon today. Okay, that's not anything. It, it is interesting that it only has the enemies that it specifically says it has here in the, um... in the instruction manual. That is cool. I, because I was attacking these thinking maybe they were those bat things, but no, the instruction manual does not lie to us. The only enemies that are going to be here are these. And, uh, the light sword dudes. So, is there a point in going back here? Doesn't seem like it. It's very, very, very dark back here. I'm sure YouTube loves how dark it is back there in that corner. Uh, boom. Slashy, slashy, stab. Slashy, stab. Hello. 
There we go, you're dead. Thank you for coming. Cool. Okay, and yeah, I'm just on this side of the room now. So yeah, see, I like what I said. Pretty short dungeon, it seems like. Of course, there is a ladder right there. Okay, see, I thought that was the boss room down there, but it has my fox character being like, where's the boss? Maybe this area doesn't have a boss? I thought it was pointing to the boss being down there. Okay, you are actually the shield boys. Nope. None of that, please. Hit me, I dare you. Nope. Hit me. There we go. Dead. Good stuff. I'm really good at murder. This adorable fox? Fantastic at murder. Okay, so there was a way I could walk here. Okay, that's what... Ow. Okay, block. Okay, maybe this isn't the best call. Um, that was most of my potions. I could have come down here this way before. Yeah, and I skipped this treasure chest over here. Nope. I'm not gonna try and kill you guys. I'm just gonna guard myself and run past you. Uh... Don't piss them off. Okay, we're good. We're good. So you just gotta go sneaky. Stealth in my Zelda game? It's more likely than you think. Oh. Oh. Uh... Down here and through here? Yeah, there we go. I just happened to see that little bit of chest peeking out. God. They hide them so well in this game. <laughs> I feel like I'm missing stuff constantly. Alright, let's just go this way. And how you doing? Boom, boom, boom. 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 Hit me, hit my shield already, you stupid dork. There we go. Alright, so... Is there anything back here? Not really. Alright, let's just keep running this way then. So yeah, now we're on the other side over here. Now I should be able to take... How do I get to that? Hmm. Looks like you can go... Ah, uh, down there. Okay, I'll have to try to remember to come back for that. I see the solution to that problem now. Oh yeah, we do get a shortcut right here. Never mind, this will be way easier than I thought. Okay, and yep, that leads down there. So, let's go over there and grab that item now. God, this music's so good. I love it. So yeah, we need to go over here and go down here. I did see this one, I just didn't think this was how you actually got access to it. So, there we go, now I know. I thought it looked like I could walk across from over there once I got to that side, so I was waiting until then. But that was not the case. Should I... stop off at the Healy spot? Probably, right? Get my health potions back. Probably a good call. Hello. Yeah, and I still need to figure out how to get to that treasure. Okay, and I did find another one of those, but I need a thousand. Expensive. Oh yeah, I did respawn all of you guys because I actually rested at the bonfire. Yes, this is definitely Dark Souls. Okay, get me up there. Um, well, we're getting a lot of treasure here, but this doesn't get me to that place I wanted. Excuse me? Let's see. Oh my god, all the wrong buttons. Oh my god, all the wrong buttons. Well, great. Fantastic. Oh, you guys are in here. Okay, well, the more you know. Mm-hmm. Dead. All the wrong buttons. Jeez. So... What was that thing I picked up? Just another one of these? No, it was the other upgrade material, wasn't it? Yeah, you. Oh my god, that's my defense. Okay, yeah, because I remember the like little fox statuette was uh, an upgrade material. Oh my goodness. All of you die. 
There we go. Oof. And... You say I got three of them. Is that ice bombs? I think so, right? Ice bombs. That's a pretty good get. So is that the boss room down here? Let's, uh... If these are ice bombs, let's go ahead and put some of them on. I guess this might be the boss room. Hmm. And I can't open this door yet, right? Yeah, I don't know how to open this. There wasn't anything down here that maybe activated it? No. Okay, maybe that's just- maybe that just activates once we, uh, beat the boss? Yes, hello, I'm here to murder. Uh, anything else in here that I would want to check out? Doesn't seem like it. Yeah, pretty simple room. Okay, I'm out. Uh... Oh, there I am. I was like, where am I? Okay, well there's the next thingy, but I still can't access it. Oh, this gets me over here. Okay. Uh, and the lantern. Yes, I would like to take that. Okay, cool. Bottom of the well gets me the lantern. Good to know. And I can't do anything with this. So... Yep, I have a lantern now. I can't help but notice I can't actually put that anywhere. How do I use the lantern? Hmm? Weird. I have lantern, but I don't know how to use lantern. Very odd. Okay, and I can't get out of here anyway, really, right? No. Well, I can go into that other dungeon. Oh, okay, now that I... Okay, the lantern is just a passive thing, and now that I have it, I can see that there's a doorway right here. Cool. Are you the boss? Potentially, I'm not even showing up on the screen anymore. Uh-huh. Okay, that was a bad call. I'll be the first to admit that that was a bad call. Okay. Get me out of there. Cool. Okay. Regen stamina. Okay. Uh-huh. Yep. There we go. Nope. Wrong target. Okay. Boom. Okay, you're dead. Whew. Okay, dork. Now you're dead. Jeez. Spooky fight. I should really use the bombs more, but I don't know. I'm trying to save them. But it said be liberal with my bombs, so... If that wasn't the boss encounter for this area, maybe I'll do the boss encounter with bombs. Oh my god, where am I? Is there like another floor? I just tried, tried pressing up and down. That wasn't an option. Yeah, sure. Okay, and under the well and beneath the earth. Okay, so now I'm beneath the earth. Lantern. And there's like, what are those weird spider things? Oh, those weird spider things. We saw those here. Spyrites in Saparox. Yes, yeah, Spyrite, because it's a pun on Pyrite. And Saffirock. So, okay, makes sense. Fortress of the Eastern Vault. We gotta fight a golem. Okay. Yeah, and this is... Yeah, that's you. Okay, we're starting to piece things together. Okay, and it does look like there's little notes written here about what I'm supposed to be doing. Gotta keep that in mind as well. Alright, and upgrade. My defense, yes. Thank you kindly. And when we get out of here, we know exactly where to go. Defense level two. Cool. Anything? Nothing. Okay. Up the ladder. Is this, am I just gonna come out at a well somewhere? Oh. I didn't see where I was on the screen. That was my bad. I see now, though. Uh. 
Oh, I just- I'm over here at the- the- the Dark Temple, right? Yes. Okay, so that's where we're at now, so let's scroll... Wasn't that far back, was it? Oh wait, I don't have a map of the temple, do I? Yeah, I don't think I do. Uh... Yep, no, we don't. Okay. Well, I have this, so we can actually do this now. Let's get in here. Right? Dark tomb. Hello, Stalfos. Dead. Very right, cool. Okay, two of you. Okay, got myself hurt there. Bang. Bang. Good. Ow! Okay, I'm sorry. Didn't quite see those in time. Let's go ahead and heal up just for safety's sake. Uh huh. Watch the floor. Treasure chest up there. There was a another chest in that dungeon, the well that I missed. So I do plan on going back down in there and getting that. Maybe I should even do that now before I forget. Hmm. That would mean leaving this place, though. Are you above me? Why was I not able to hit you there? I guess you just weren't quite in range. Okay, I don't know how to get that. Okay, you know what? No, let, let's get out of here. Oh, okay. Let's get out of here because I want to take care of some of the uh, stuff out, stuff in that previous dungeon that I missed before I forget about it, right? Let's just do that. Let's go back to the well. This will give me an opportunity to heal up and everything as well. Would be nice to be able to get to any of those things. Uh, bye bye. This was how we got over there. Yeah. Oh, I could have taken the other way, but this this still gets me to where I want to go. Go away, you stupid things. Nobody likes you. There, I said it. Cool. And once I have a thousand of these doohickeys, then uh. I'll be able to upgrade my healing powers again. So, over here, and down. Alright, beneath the well. I want to get all of your treasure chests, and you're going to give them to me. So, die. Again. Okay, it was in this next room over here, I believe, right? Nope, none of that. At least I'm getting more currency out of this. Kind of inadvertently grinding here. Okay, so... Yeah, you're the one I want. How do I get you? So, yeah, it looks like I need to walk across the ceiling... ...to get to you, right? But how do I get... Th ...to that ceiling part? Um... Was it this? No, because this, I mean, this seems like where it would be, but is that a pathway I can walk through right here? No, I thought maybe. How in the, what? Is it a broken, a wall you can break right here? How, how in the world with this chest? It's gotta just be a clever perspective puzzle that's hidden somewhere that I, just don't notice, right? Yeah, because I do need to be a level higher. And I do have to come from this way in particular. It's nothing to do with being over here, right? No, doesn't look like it. Huh. Alright. You have me confused. I hope you're happy. And there's like no walls to break. Hmm. Alright, give me a second. I'll look around a little bit and see if I can figure something out. Oh, 
Oh my god, it- what? It opened at that time. I hit it a few times and it just opened. I was just swinging my sword at it and, like, angrily. <laughs> so I was like, this looks like where it would open up. Okay, that gets me this one and that other one. I didn't even see this one. Wow. Okay, so the only hint that that was... That's another healing potion. The only hint that that was here was the fact that I could see the chest earlier on in the level. I find Mario games and stuff do that a lot. They'll show you an area and you'll be like, how do I get to that? And that's usually when they hide something in a really jerkish spot. Okay, so if I see like stuff like this, maybe it means... I kind of saw that earlier and thought it was a thing. And I hit it like, what was it, twice? But it never opened for me. Okay. Well, now I'm going to be hitting all those things about a billion times. And we got another gold coin. Huh. <sighs> okay, well then. We made a little bit of progress, finally. Finding that. And that was a very important upgrade, too. Because now we have another health potion. And now we can get out of the well. Well, well, well. We can get out of the well. Yeah, see, like, this has me doubting myself, and I'm like, are you a secret wall? Jeez. So mean. But, I mean, they'll probably give me a hint that there's something in a place before they start, you know, having me smash in uh, my face into things for secret walls and secret doors. There'll probably be some sort of hint, so. Alright, with that, what's my best save point here? Um... Probably this one over here, so I'm gonna go hit up this save point. We don't have enough to upgrade again, I don't believe. No, we do not, so. Yeah, I guess that's it for now. I still don't know what I'm supposed to use these for. Uh, yeah, I don't know what a lot of these things do. I'm just kind of holding on to them like a dragon with its horde. But, all right. So, I don't know why I equipped that. I didn't mean to equip that. Boom. There we go. I guess we're going to go ahead and end this episode of Tunic off here. I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.